Hello everyone. So today I was looking at uh, a question on the community, and uh, the, that question was actually very interesting. Uh, and I thought I'll probably share my views now. The question was that we are using. Um, so the person who was asking that question, he, uh, that person was saying that uh, we are using uh, Epic with some tasks or issues under it, and when you have an Epic uh, with various items under it you can of course maybe create some kind of automation rule to always create an epic with those tasks and by the way i made one video recently where i where i explained how to do it right that is definitely great and possible but the problem is i mean not really a problem but uh, imagine that you have this uh, situation where uh, you may have let us say one epic with uh, some issues under it and those issues need to be in a way uh, done in a specific uh, order. Uh, for example, if I open one of the epic, let me just open it. So let us say you have an epic where you have let us say five items, and, and you need to always do those five items whenever uh, we are we are working on uh, these. Uh, let us say um, maybe some some activities that you're doing in your project, and every time you have to repeat those activities, that that happens. That is quite normal. So you can al always like create some kind of a template template view now problem is that this will of course work uh, but in case you have to ensure that an order has to be maintained for example if we talk about uh, these issues where it says launch android app right and i have to do these items in a specific order so there is no way to like within i mean of course uh, when you create these issues in jira or when you automatically create these epics, of course you can define while creating the order that you want to follow. But in case you want to add one more item, and that one more item, let us say I, I create this item called uh, story three, and uh, maybe I'll create story four. It's a task, but yeah, whatever. So, uh, so the there there is some order that I need to follow. What if I want to follow or want or I want I want people to work on story four first? Now, this is of course not really straightforward and easy from this view because when you're looking at the the items under an epic you can't really drag and drop right i mean you, you can do that there are a couple of ways of doing it and uh, this is something that you can actually manage uh, so the person who was asking that co this question was saying that maybe we can delete these items and then create four and then three and then two again so maybe you know create the items again but a better way of doing it is to either go to the roadmap or a backlog view. So let us go to the roadmap, right? Oh, this will not work in this view because we are using multiple, uh, not not in this board because we are using multiple projects on that particular roadmap, on, on that particular board. But if I go to one of the epic, and uh, maybe I'll go to this particular epic, right? So if I look at this epic, I have, of course, story two and three and four. So I can actually uh, use this uh, order uh or this particular rank which i'm doing here like i'm I'm adjusting the rank here so whenever you're working so this concept of ranking is there has been there in jira for a long time and the ranking that you are working with right now is actually going to in a way dictate or uh, in case you're using advanced roadmaps it is basically telling your managers that this is the order that you need to follow so if you have, let us say, um, maybe if we go back to the epic, so let us go back to the epic, right? And uh, now if you look here again, you can see here straight away that the order is now uh, reflected. So in a way, you are defining the order here because you change the rank. For example, now I want story four to be, maybe story, uh, let us say one more item. Okay, let us do it one more time. So this is story five right so here you can't really easily change the order because uh, you know this view is not really going to give you this ability but good thing about uh, jira is that we have of course various way of ways of working on the item so uh, we have of course 25 and the ranking ideally should be managed uh, um, from this backlog view i'm sure you can do that from the roadmap view but l let us try I'll, I'll show you the possibilities and uh, this is in a way of course uh, Im imagine that you create this checklist uh, and uh, when you have a checklist you are basically uh, 
defining the order and people will work on these issues and if there is anything new that needs to be added you can do that in case you you want to do it but i i, I believe this should work now if we go back to the uh, board uh what i will do is i will actually try to configure or uh, change the board uh, settings come on how do i open the board i'll go to the active sprint and i'll make sure that i remove all other projects from the i'm just trying to look at the filter okay so the query that we are using is uh, this one which is not what i want i'll probably click on the edit filter query and uh, usually when you create a board it is always ordered by i mean usually you don't have to but it is ordered by rank so the board view is also going to reflect uh the order that you want to follow um in your board in your project in your road map depending upon of course uh, how you define the order by simply dragging the items uh on top or 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 maybe at the bottom simply drag and uh, sim simply dragging them like moving them but this particular field ranking field is not really editable field so if you're thinking maybe you can uh, modify this because people do that <laughs> it is not a number field it is something that you need to manage by uh, simply dragging the items now this is the road map view if you want you can also change the order from here this is wonderful right um so just another view and ranking is always relative so now we have 4 to 5 maybe i'll probably move it to the bottom or uh, maybe yeah i'll do that come on Ye yes so 4 2 2 3 5 okay let us go to the epic 4 2 2 3 5 and this is relative because when it's relative it is basically relative to this epic but this epic might be uh supposed to i mean maybe you need to work on this epic uh first or at the very very last but uh the the ranking is always rela relative to the parent and i made one video uh when i mentioned this in like a dedicated video on advanced road map where uh, this is actually more clear because when you're working on issues from multiple projects that is where this ranking will come into picture all right that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new and and i hope i hope you are uh, enjoying the videos that i'm making these days these days i am of course trying to also cover a lot of things around atlassian career in case you want to build your career into this wonderful field of atlassian ecosystem if you want to become a consultant like me then then those videos hopefully are helping you all right that is it that is all bye bye